begotten Son, by whosoever believes shall not perish, but shall have everlasting life. I tell you that Jesus Christ came to give you life, to give you life more abundantly. This is the day that the Lord has given us to worship and to serve Him. And you get these writers that always go left and never go right. I'm here to tell you for all who see from the sword of glory of God. For there is none righteous, no, not one. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. We stand here and the Bible tells us to go to you all the world and preach the gospel. We'll go anywhere and everywhere to tell you about the Lord Jesus Christ. In 1987, of April 21st, I received Christ as my Savior. I have obeyed what He has told me to do. I have trusted Him to shed blood. I don't believe in religion. I don't believe in works to save you. That will cast you to hell. There are good people in hell. There are wicked people in hell. The only ones that don't go to hell are those that trust on the Lord Jesus Christ and what He has done for you. The paid payment of His life given on the cross. The gospel is that Christ died for your sins. He was buried according to the scriptures. And He rose the third day. You can't find religion coming out of the grave. The popes are buried under the dirt. The hour is buried under the dirt. But Jesus Christ is risen. The greatest news that came to me from the angels proclaimed that He is not here. He is risen. I serve a risen Savior. That's the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. You'll be damned to hell. He that has the Son has life. He that has not the Son shall not be life. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except ye repent, except you be born again, you cannot see the kingdom of heaven. Your works, your religion is vile, is of Satan, the liar, the murderer from the beginning. I stand here and tell you that these race cars are Christians. What are they doing here on Sunday when they should be in church? The Bible says, For God is love, and that love was shown upon Calvary. Where Christ shed his blood, where religion shed blood, Christ gave his sinless holy blood that you may have life and have life more eternally. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth is proclaimed of the great Savior. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, for I have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior. Today you can trust Him. You can put the sins of your life under the blood and be saved and be born again and have eternal life and not fear death. And I ask you right now, if you were to die right now, where would you go? You say you don't know. The Bible records these things are written that you may know have eternal life. Last year they had a couple accidents here. What that accident was taking your life? Wake up in hell. There's no second chances. There's no do-over. Life is serious. Death is coming. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life is Jesus Christ our Lord. For it's going on to man once to die and after this to judgment. What will you say before God as you stand before Him? What will you plead? You're a good person. Jesus Christ was better. You don't believe in God. You're an atheist. Pray that to God when you're standing in front of Him. To God you don't believe. The Bible records in Psalms. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. I'm here to proclaim there is a God. And He loves you. He loved you 33 AD when He hung on that cross for your sins. Right by. I'm here to tell you, don't break your way. Turn up 
the mouths of questions made on the salvation. I'm here to proclaim I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I'm here to tell you, April 21st, 1987, I bowed my knee in my grandma's house and received the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior. I know about heaven. I know about the hell. I know about the Bible. I know. Imagine the God of all, the holy God of heaven. 